Hey folks, Dave here. I learned something new in Lightburn, uh, reference shapes, specifically polygons, that's those flat-sided shapes that we learned as a kid, but now we got to learn them again in Lightburn. So let's do that. So go over to the left to create regular polygon, click that. Go out to your workspace, push down the shift key, and then the left mouse button and drag that shape out. Release the mouse first and then the shift key. And that uh, keeps it proportional. And I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but this is what works for me, so that's why I keep doing it. So, after you do that, go over to the left to this arrow and click the arrow so you don't just click everywhere and create more shapes. Um, so now we want to be able to change the number of sides to, to create uh, those other regular polygons. So go up to Window, down to Shape Properties, and look over here to the right, and you will see a Shape Properties tab. Click that, and you can see the number of sides represented is along with the width and the height. And we can just change those. Anything between 3 and 40 in Lightburn. Polygons, I believe, actually go up to 50 sides. But uh, Lightburn goes to 40. By the time you get to 40, you got a circle anyway. Let's just do that now. Okay. Looks like a circle. Not quite a circle. You can see the jagged edges. So. But it's there and there. Depending on how in-depth you're getting with your laser engraving, uh, it may, may come in handy. So, okay, we will select our shape again. And then we'll just go back to a triangle. Start with three. <clears throat> so we got three, and we can just keep going up. Four. Now here with the square, you can also... Of course, by changing the width or the height, you can get a rectangle. And there's uh, several quadrilateral type shapes. Uh, as far as I know, the only two you can get in this method here is a, a square or a rectangle. But light burns a, a really high quality, high tech software, so I'm sure there's ways to do it that I just don't know about yet. Uh, and while I'm at it, Lightburn's got a fully functional 60-day trial. Uh, so give it a try. you got plenty of time to, uh, to see if you like it, and I'm, I'm sure you will. I'll drop a link to Lightburn in the, in the description. Okay, so we can just keep going up with these shapes. We have a pentagon, back to our original hexagon, a heptagon, octagon, nonagon, and a decagon. I'm not going to go any further because I'm not a, a math person, so uh, it's a shape to me. So you can you can switch and just continue going. And who knows? You may be working on a project and you need some odd eleven-sided circle-looking shape, and uh, this will come in handy. So okay, so play around with this and uh, have fun. I really appreciate you folks watching. I hope you learned something. If you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.